Good morning, guys. Happy rehearsal day. Ah, uh, I still have a whole bunch of stuff to do. We leave for our rehearsal at like, what's at one. Um, and a lot of stuff I've like made, so I have to pass that off to the hotel and the um, planner at the rehearsal. So I still have a lot of change or things just to do as well as do some switching. I have to print a new, um, like name plate and change a couple and change orders of menus and things like that. And last night I damaged my finger. I'm not gonna take, well not my finger, my nail. I'm not gonna take the bandage off right now because I don't want to have to re-bandage it and I don't want my nail to fall off. Um, I was opening a the order of events frame and I was using my nail to like, you know, at the back of a frame there's like those little metal things that slide anyways and it just sliced my nail so thankfully it didn't slice it off it's like a flat but it's a like a lot <laughs> it's a big cut I'll put a picture uh, if you guys didn't see my Instagram but ugh. so I'm because the nail is still on it I'm pretty sure they can fix it but that just means another another thing I have to do this morning which is not on my list that should be on my list and this is my rehearsal dinner dress we got it from the bay um, it was well, I can't see it. It was on sale, and then there was another 30% off, so it was $59, so very happy. It's pretty, and it's lace. So, yes, all right, taking my list, going downstairs and printing stuff out and using the Cricut and a whole bunch of other little projects that are still to be done. <laughs> As you can imagine, the past couple of days have been very stressful and very busy. We have our box of stuff. Um, like Welcome sign that I showed. Um, order of events. Presents for the kids. Here's the seating chart um, upside down. And then this is that heart thing. And a bunch of stuff, and then I'm just printing a, a picture that'll go in the frame. So I've done a lot of this stuff, so I fixed these. I got a bag for Jacob, he's a ring bear. Pack card, no card box, yep, yeah, that's down here. Um, doing printing photo. Oh, emailed Bill. I gotta pay people still. <laughs> Since we never actually got our engagement shoot from our photographer, which I'm over that, but um, anyways, like when we were trying to find pictures, we're like, it would be nice if we actually had engagement pictures to put in here, but we don't. So we just did one like a, a selfie one. However, then it, I see, I wish we did, cause then our skin would be touched up to be perfect, but oh well. So our faces are really big. I think when I got the frame, it was like in this, I thought this was like the mat around it. So the frame would, the picture would only be this big, which this is a really big picture of us, but it'll be sitting down on a table kind of like that. So, oh well, this is like three years old, but that's all right. <laughs> it's funny. I like, obviously I can, like, I've been weighing myself and doing measure, <laughs> measuring so I can see I've lost weight in inches, but when I look in the mirror, I don't really see any change. Um, however, then we were going through photos and ones from like the past year and the past two years. Um, I, I definitely can see the change now. I was like, wow, my face is so like round and like extra chubby. Um, so then that's why we also came across this one because Dan was like his, although he didn't love his hair, it's a little kind of around, but there are other ones where he like disliked his hair more and then I was I then when he liked his hair I was like no my face is so round we're not doing that so that one I think because my head is half covered um okay putting this in the box and then I'm also doing a checklist um of everything in the box of our own personal belongings that at the end of the night or the next day we'll want to have back <laughs> our wedding favors as well as the ruby bed some in the back here and then we have the two chocolates. So one's an ice wine, and the other one is a caramel cream. And then for the kids, mm -hmm. instead of ice wine, they have a hedgehog. Oh yeah, I have to bring mine too. Mine. 
so pretty. Where's my wedding dress? 10 a.m. So the nail salon is now open. So I'm gonna go and check if they can fix my nail. Oh, I hope so. I think they should. I'm wearing my glasses. Yay! That my friend made me. Ah, good as new. Yes, it's a little shorter, but that's okay. I'm so happy. Yeah, you can't tell. Oh my God. And yeah, they just charged me $5 and I gave a $5 tip. Cause honestly, I'm so happy they got me in right away. They fixed it, no problem. So I was like, yep, you deserve it. Oh my God. All right, now I'm going home. I couldn't even like, I tried to like do the ribbons and I was like, I couldn't use with the big bandaid. And then it just, so now back to things and it's only like 10.30. So lots of time still. <sighs> Breathe, oh thank god. I actually stopped in and quickly got some Sprite as well as eggs. Um, just because tomorrow I have champagne and orange juice. We're gonna do mimosas uh, while we get ready. Um, but originally I was already gonna get some ginger ale for my sister who can't have alcohol because she's pregnant. Um, but now with the swap, but my friend, um, She's not a big alcohol drinker, so I was gonna, originally I was like, oh yeah, now I know how to have mimosas, but I'm like, it'd be nice to have something, a different option for it. So I got Sprite, she can mix that with it. Um, plus, I needed to have a little bit more change. I went to the bank and got as much as I thought, but then our officiant, you have to pay the officiant at the rehearsal, his $385 in cash. And I was like, that's such an odd amount. So I was like, I'll just give him like, you know, 390 or four, but then I still needed more money. So I had to make change so I could pay him. So, okay, now we're going home. I'm doing an extra name tag because that's my brother-in-law isn't coming. My mom was like, oh, well then maybe I'll have one of my friends come sitting beside me. So it's totally fine. I said the only thing is she has to eat what he had ordered. We already gave it our food numbers, but that's fine. But it's not off to make one. <laughs> and my list is getting a little less. <laughs> oh, I did this one. All right, oh, perfect. It's not completely centered, but at this point, I don't care. I'm good with that. Pretty. There we go. So I changed the name on the other one, and then I added Maid of Honor, which I wanted to do right from the start, but my other um, bridesmaid was kind of offended that she wasn't Maid of Honor, so I didn't put it in, but now I can. All right, so I've packed, Dan took half the stuff. He's picking up his groomsmen. Now we're off to the rehearsal. Packed my car, so I have to get the chocolates that I was like, can't have that in car. Bye, Chanel, I'll just see you later. And now we're going to our rehearsal. And then I'm hoping, because we are, Dan and I are gonna stay there. How am I gonna hold this after? So, um, like our hotel room. So I'm hoping I can check in a bit early and then go to the pool and spa a little bit just because I'm way too stressed. <laughs> I cried because I accidentally dropped a locket that, I mean, I was making the locket, but oh, I need a sun visor because I can't get a sunburn. Uh, this works. Um, and yeah, I was like burst into tears. So, all right, go in rehearsal. Oh, it's so pretty. Hi. That's beautiful, and I love that. Okay, perfect. Thanks, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. We are back from the rehearsal. I honestly, I didn't do much filming, so it makes me wonder how much I'm actually going to be doing tomorrow. So perhaps it will just be a little, well, not very many snippets, but we'll see. Um, I am having a professional um, videographer, so it'll be a while till I get the video. But then, if I'm allowed to, I think I should be allowed to share it on um, YouTube and giving her credit. Um, as long as I am, then yeah, I will. So rehearsal went well. We learned a lot of stuff, how things work. We checked in with the um, the decorations being set up. There was a little stress when all the tables were jumbled up and like the order was all wrong, but the, I had printed out um, basically the expedite sheet that says what, who's sitting where, um, and the decorator didn't see that printout. Um, and I honestly, I thought the hotel was gonna provide her with it, but I'm like, just in case, I'll put one in the bin of stuff I'm bringing. So, yeah, so anyways, after we mentioned, and I was like, 
beyond stressed, um, then it got fixed. And then my maid of honor, my best friend, Allie, she said she checked in after, um, and everything was correct. So she's like, it was just, they didn't see that. So I was like, but they really think I would have just been like, Oh, we'll sit wherever people, which, okay. A lot of people do that, but I am more neurotic. So I, I'm telling you where people sit. Plus because we're doing plated, if I was doing a buffet, it would kind of not be I'd just say like you like these people on table two these people on table three but they everyone got their choice of three entrees and I told like the kitchen knows like table three seat one is getting this entree table three seat two is getting this entree so then when they come around they don't have to ask were you having chicken vegetarian or there's no chicken beef fish or vegetarian they just will hand it and that's the one so it's a little stressful, but that's all sorted. And then, yeah, we had rehearsal. We checked into our hotel room. It's pretty nice. Um, I'll show it to you when I go back there again in the evening, but I was with my bridesmaids, so I didn't be like, let me film like this day right now. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna relax for about half an hour, then we're already going to, well, I'm gonna get ready, but going to our rehearsal dinner. So I was wanting to film a uh, like day before the wedding update video in general. Um, but I didn't, and now all of like the things I would have shown are all in boxes and they're not here anyways. Uh, so I'm not gonna do that as a separate one. Um, but then to, uh, I was gonna explain my big news, I guess. So I'll just touch base in it here. I'm not making like a video and mentioning it in that one. Um, but on Wednesday, three days before our wedding, um, we were told that my bridesmaid, one of my bridesmaids is not able to come. Um, and I understand she has, to, look out for her health so I get that um I'm very upset I tried like I offered so many in my mind solutions but again I'm not uh, an almost mother I'm not you know I so I don't really understand but I tried to offer lots of solutions like don't come as a bridesmaid just come as a guest stay in the back row or um, just stay watching from the hotel I just really want to have you at my side or like at the ceremony at least but you know, you have to look what's best for your health. So she is not coming. So then I had to make the decision, do I, do I just have one bridesmaid? Um, and then Dan will have still his two groomsmen, or do I ask my other close friend who was, com was coming to the wedding as a guest, but do I ask her to be a bridesmaid if the original dress, the bridesmaid's dress that I got, cause I got two for my sister, um, would fit. So I ended up, you know, and again, we're just before us, so it's like, I have to make a decision quickly. So I ended up asking her and she was overjoyed. She was so happy. And again, she's a friend that would bend over backwards for me. She would just, oh, she was so sweet. So, um, that's just her in life. And so, yeah, so she is my new bridesmaid. So that of course meant a whole lot of switching things around. Um, but I think it's all working out. Yesterday, the past two days have been a pretty emotional. Um, and then I was made to feel bad yesterday for essentially replacing my family um, with a new bridesmaid. Now, I thought that, you know, I would have, lo I honestly wanted, my first choice was my sister since she is unable to come and we're in a time crunch. I went with what I felt was best for my wedding on my day. Um, and I don't know if it was the right decision. I mean, I want to think it is. I do value my family and I, I feel hurt that I have caused so much upset with my decision, my selfish decision to have someone step in. I felt, I, I don't know, I don't know. I just, I hope this doesn't, damage my relationship with my family in the long run and it's so hard and it's like it's the one day I get to be selfish I feel but maybe not so anyways I'm not gonna start crying again I've been yeah crying the past two days straight about this and it's really like I'm already emotional but like it just hurts me so bad because I honestly wanted her there and since she cannot, I, I thought this was a good thing, but anyways, not stressing. I have to get ready for my rehearsal dinner where it's going to be all right. All right. Getting ready for rehearsal dinner. We are off to our rehearsal dinner. Oh, I'm going to get the doggy. It's sleeping. I should have, we should take a picture of us. We look good. I shall get Allie to take a picture when we get there. Ha ha ha.
Although now my hair is already frizzing out. But tomorrow, it look good. This doesn't really matter. <laughs> Made it to our hotel room. I'm exhausted. We did a lot of last minute things. I wrapped my bridesmaid gift boxes. Um, we worked on our speech. I'm terrible at speech writing. Um, and then we practiced our dance. I'm so tired. Guess what time it is? I don't know if that's showing up, but yeah, two. Oh seven. Oh my god. I just want to go to sleep. All right, I'll show you our room right here on the corner so we have lots of views. Obviously you won't see it today. But right now, so you come in here as a kitchen. And I'll show you in a video what I'm putting in those. And then you get oh there's no lights. Alright, we'll go to the bedroom. There's the light there. Actually first the bathroom. Alright, this would be better showing you in the daytime, but oh well. I was gonna have a bath. Not obviously tonight because of guests, but yeah. So I was like, I have to shave my armpits. I can do that later, but tomorrow. And then here's the bedroom. Oh yeah, I guess I just don't, oh, they made the bed down for me and I just put my dress here that I will have to find and hang up somewhere. Oh, lots of, oh, those are, oh, those are really tall. Yeah, not bad. All right, and then there's a view window, there's a window. Yeah, 210. So I'm gonna sleep. Ah, good sign of light here, finally. Now we have a seating area here, so this is where we're gonna get ready. And then this is a big balcony, which I wonder if it's just all dark outside. Oh, you can see the pool. That's it. Yeah. Closed at midnight. I was planning on getting here at like 10 and being like, ah, I'll go for a dip. Clearly didn't happen. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Thank god for makeup. Did I just hit my forehead right here? To bed. <laughs> so I'm gonna hang up my dress because I want to take it out of the... Should I take it out of the dress thing? I don't know. All right, that is it. Next time I'll see you, it will still be today, but it'll be... I'll be more in the mind frame of getting married. Now I just want sleep. <laughs> All right, see you guys on my wedding day.